Hi Taurus and welcome to my channel. Thank you and welcome to all my subscribers and thank you for the likes and comments so far. This is the August reading for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Obviously it may or may not resonate so take what does and leave the rest. What I'm picking up here, this may only be for a certain group of you, is that you're feeling quite burdened at the moment. I feel this is regarding a decision that needs to be made. And if you make that decision and drop these burdens, you can achieve balance. Okay, so it's just about prioritising for some of you I feel and looking at what it is that you want. I'm getting a few scenarios here as well in the present. Now some of you it's to do with work and some of you it's to do with a relationship and you're currently trying to work things out with this person or this boss or colleague at work or your company. Um, but I did get what's crossing you, someone from your past, could be a soulmate, is this person you're currently dealing with. Um, it could be a cancer, but I'm sensing this isn't going anywhere and this is what's making you feel burdened and stuck. And to be honest, my gut instinct here is it's not going to go forward. There's no fresh beginning in this situation. I feel this is for a lot of you a relationship um, and there was hurt, hurt, a lot of hurt in the past, possibly a third party situation. And it could have been with an Aquarius, um, but there was so much hurt and burden that you couldn't heal or you felt you couldn't heal. Okay, and you may still be healing at the moment. In your recent future, you're going to have to make a decision and take a leap forward. Okay, so a lot of you are stuck and you know you need to take this leap and this decision is going to need to be made. Seems some of you though are waiting so you're just sort of waiting for something to come in, whether this is a decision or whatever this is you're working out at the moment. It could also be something legal. And in your subconscious, we've got this Queen of Wands, so Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, who it seems has caused a lot of um, anxiety for some of you. And this person has either come in or out of your life or you are feeling very much you don't know if you're coming or going with this person some of you have chosen though to be single and independent okay and you are very stable okay and th and that's all that's where you want to be and i do see the wheel is turning for you so luck is going to come in for you some of you though may not be seeing what's in front of you I sense um, you know you're waiting for something but you're not seeing what you already have and for your outcome you're being told to persevere Okay, and um, you've been through all of these burdens, but you're still standing, holding this wand, so you can go forward. Okay, it's a lot of you, I feel, need to rest and meditate, and just go within and really try to heal. That's what I'm sensing for a lot of you. Healing is needed here. Okay, so quite heavy heavy energy I'm feeling from this to be honest. Now I've got two more oracle cards and the first one interestingly enough 
renewal of peace so that really resonates with this four of swords here talking about needing rest um, and it's important to maintain your peace within if you can allow your inner power to heal that will return your inner peace to you and we also got fresh approach so for those of you who are stuck feeling burdened try to think outside the box okay and try something new maybe something you hadn't thought about before and I feel that's where this rest and meditation could really help you to find the answers you need okay Doris so I hope that may have resonated for you in some way um, please do comment like and subscribe um, the video for this month with the most likes will actually get a bonus video as well so see you again soon